Minecraft is the pinnacle of what humanity has to offer. Such a simple concept has evolved into one of the most effective and versatile instruments of every form of fun known to humankind. Now that might sound like a bold claim, but we all know that it's not. The very platform I'm speaking to you on has gone through multiple generations of unique styles and genres of content that have all made it to the top of every trending list by themselves. And they all center around this one stupid block game. The most recent of these genres are roleplay servers like the Dream SMP, and civilization events like the hundreds of videos that all have this exact same thumbnail. The subject of today's video is the curious case of one Davy Dustin, or David, to his friends, half of which are no longer his friends given recent events. David dabbles in these civ events for content on his channel, and runs his own roleplay server as well, Loreworks. Now obviously there's nothing wrong with this, as I've just said, Minecraft is an amazing game partially due to these exact genres, and I'm definitely not above them myself. I've personally played on and even streamed lore works and have been known to partake in a few civ events as well. Oh my god! No, 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 <laughs> Keeping this in mind, I'm obviously not here to insult Minecraft or any communities involving it. I, like you, am simply here to enjoy laughing at one of the most cringe-inducing bad actors one can ever encounter while playing this game. David's videos where he recounts his time playing civ events or promotes his roleplay server are fine. There's nothing wrong with the videos themselves, the issues we're discussing today have more to do with how he runs said roleplay server. The first of those issues being that the man is transphobic and is determined to make this fact everyone else's problem. The second being him and his friend's tendency to bully, in some cases completely new players they don't like, off the server for essentially no reason. Hi, Future Zarakar here. There's actually a third issue, this one just came in, that being the egregious amounts of sexual harassment that goes on in the server that the two admins, David and Tipper, either ignore completely or openly enable. Here's a situation with a player named Ion being harassed in-game while she was trapped. She made it clear that she was uncomfortable, and then later was told to drop it by the players involved. Naturally, when the issue was brought up to Tipper, David's partner, Tipper basically said, mind your own business. This isn't happening! Every Everyone look away, please! Nothing to see here! I'm sure we can all agree, very, very fucking disgusting, just all around. And you know, while we're on the subject of disgusting, here's David himself trying to riz up a character who was played by a 14-year-old. You sad, pathetic, LARPing incel. Alright, that's enough about that, just had to include that in there. Back to past Zarakar. Let us begin with that first one, despite David's insistence that Minecraft has no limits. That's why on Loreworks, you get to see bits of pretty much everything. Everything apparently doesn't include transgender people, or even characters who are one gender but have a voice that he judges to belong to the other. That's right, in this Minecraft roleplay server that encourages you to make and play as whatever kind of character you want, if you're trans and would like to play as a character who reflects you as a person, not only are you not allowed to make that character trans, but if you're a biological male and want to play as a female, or vice versa, you are simply not allowed to use in-game voice voice chat like literally everyone else on the server. David's reasoning for this is filled with all the classic positions we've grown accustomed to, such as trans people are just attention seekers and trans people did not exist in medieval times. Or maybe he meant trans people don't exist in fantasy settings? And even if it's the latter, that kind of depends on the writer, but go off I guess. I'm sure you have infinite experience with every fantasy story ever written, making you the arbiter of such matters, so who am I to claim otherwise? And as as if this transphobic LARPer hasn't self-reported enough, he also has this lovely habit of defending the bullying of LGBT people because said people are shoving their sexuality down his throat. Because, you know, apparently not hiding your sexuality is actually equivalent to excessive advertisement of it. Only when you're not straight and cis, though, obviously, since my man otherwise seems to have no problem being as open as open can be about sexual matters in a public chat room. How should he is a child? No, 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 it's only when David is uncomfortable that it becomes taboo, and David is only uncomfortable when it's not straight. Okay, I, I don't know how to lay it on any thicker than that. Is that good enough? I, I trust that I've gotten the point across. The man's a cringe bigot. 
I mean, I shouldn't be surprised when the man literally enforces a don't ask, don't tell policy on this supposedly open for everyone to tell whatever story they want server, but holy unholy matrimony Batman, we get it, you don't like being reminded that non-straight people exist, but I don't see why this now has to be everyone else's problem. This is literally the oldest gaslight in the book, saying that people who aren't straight or cis are shoving their sexuality down your throat when all anyone will have ever done is not lie about it. No amount of demonizing LGBT people from your past is going to make outright banning trans people from talking in your server anywhere close to okay. And sure, his supposed reasoning for this stance is to avoid confusion, but before anyone cites that in his defense, if you're confused, just ask. It's not complicated. It's actually a fundamental common courtesy to avoid miscommunication later down the line. Pay attention. This is a game that is universally celebrated for its ability to bring people from all walks of life together. And here we have a man letting his personal prejudice become everyone else's problem in a server where people just want to write stupid stories with their stupid blocky characters. But let's assume the nature of your very existence doesn't offend David right off the bat and you're actually allowed to play on the server. Good luck bringing up an issue of any sort to either him or the one other admin in charge here because if either of them don't like your tone you'll be harassed persecuted, banned, and subsequently trash-talked for breaking a rule that doesn't exist. As well as a few others, this is exactly what happened to Travis, who will probably have his own video about this by the time this one is uploaded. David's partner in running the server, Tipper, later justified this by saying Travis was switching between in-character and out-of-character chat, and therefore metagaming. But that doesn't really hold up when literally the entire server, including Tipper, also does that. That's part of roleplay. Nobody plays D&D without ever breaking character to talk about what's happening. Especially when there's a new player involved. I mean, some people do, but they're weird. Tipper did exactly this earlier that day when talking to Travis. So at this point, it became clear that these two just straight up didn't like the man and wanted him gone. Travis was also called Limited, and considering he had been open about being neurodivergent since he first joined the server, that's a pretty giant yikes from all of us. Naturally, Tipper denied ever knowing that Travis was neurodivergent, but the man literally put I'm autistic in his application, which Tipper accepted. This is 4K! How did they get you at 4K? I don't personally even know Travis that well myself, but I do know that absolutely no one deserves to be treated the way he was for no other reason than I don't much like the tone of your voice. And yes, that was literally it. I got that part in 4K while I was streaming. But well, at the time, the nation was dead. I do talk, yeah. I know this is a hot take, but blatantly bullying someone for literally no reason, as well as openly enabling sexual harassment, is actually not very cool. It is not based nor pog champ. It is not fantastic or fabulous. It is not dope, dank, wicked, or tubular. Obviously, with all of this taking place, half the players on the server, including myself, have already settled on leaving this clown show. None of us want to tell our story through a platform that runs almost exclusively on toxicity and prejudice. And we're definitely not going to give this sad sack of crap any more fodder to tell his. I just wanted to make this quick video because several of my own friends have been affected by this, and I think we can all enjoy having some good, clean fun at the expense of someone like Davey Dustin, and anyone who stands by him. Basically, let people be who they want to be, live and let live. Because at the end of the day, there's no- oh, okay, I I'm done beating around the bush, just don't be a fucking bigot, bully, or sexual harassment enabler. It's not hard. Idiots. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh yeah, good night everybody! Ooh, ooh, actually, before we finish up, here's a montage of David and Tipper breaking their own server's rules and just general admin abuse all around.
Nah, but seriously, David, stealing art assets for your server? That's crazy! Remember where you are, where you are.